I don't know if this is real and serious, but uh, disturbingly, I think that it is. Let's take a look at this sign. Uh, the sign itself says, Welcome to the independent micronation of Homely. In home, Homely or Homely, we are not scared of germs and we don't do social distancing. So if you need a hug or a chat, please knock on the door. Come on in. Give us your virus. Come on in. It doesn't say that. I added that part, okay? Yeah, let, let's go back to the Middle Ages and before the germ theory of disease. Okay, sure. Uh, the, the caption up top, it appears this was posted on social media, says, uh, We've moved abroad. Off now we live in the independent micronation of Homely. It's our country with our rules. This is an actual, we are in this together to all our neighbors. And it's a big middle finger to the government. I urge you all to do the same thing. Please, rebel. Urge your church leaders to declare the church a micronation so that you can all go to church coming Sunday or have an Easter service in your own micronation. Those who are scared of germs can stay home, of course. Okay, so there's some acknowledgement of the germ theory. Um, this is uh, looks like some sovereign citizens or some sovereign, some, some uh, quasi sovereign citizens turning their house into a nation. Let me tell you something, for the same reason that all the other sovereign citizen BS doesn't work is this is not the law. The government and the people with the guns aren't going to recognize this, okay? You are not a micronation. You are just a person who doesn't understand the reality of the world. Get it together. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we're going to look at three comical sovereign citizen shorts. We just took a look at one. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Trying to get subscriptions right now. Want to get to 10,000. If I get to 10,000, then YouTube will open up a merchandise deck and give me other features. Subscribing to my channel is a free way to support the show. I ask that you hit the notification as well so that you are notified whenever I make a new video. But at the very least, please subscribe. This show will always remain free. Um, it's a free way to support. Now, before we get to the, the next two, I know many of you came here for uh, what we call the same time sip. This is my cup, look at my cup. No license plate equals no window. I love coffee, it's the nectar of the gods. Down below, in the description below, you can sign up uh, or you can buy some Black Rifle coffee, which is what I drink on a regular basis. If you buy Black Rifle coffee, uh, a percentage goes to, uh, goes to me, I'm a veteran. Um, the company is owned by military veterans, okay, so all profits are going to veterans, plus they donate a percentage of their profits to veterans' causes. Anyhow, raise your cup, your glass, whatever it is that you drink out of in the air, cheers with me, it tastes better when we sip together. <sighs> Love my coffee. Okay, let's take a look at uh, two more of the shorts. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Um, this is a truck. Looks like it's parked in a driveway. It says American state vessel, not for hire, private property, consumer goods, as per UCC 9-109-1. Uh, you know, I, this guy, I bet this guy, he's driving around with this. I bet he has a license plate. Oh, he's got his license plate in the window. Okay, maybe he just bought this car, uh, and this is how you get by. Let's look at let's look at UCC nine one oh nine. Okay, let's take a look at that real quick. Part of the Uniform Commercial Code, it states, except as otherwise provided in subsections C and D, this article applies to one, a transaction, regardless of its form, that creates a security interest in personal property or fixtures by contract. Okay, so just by declaring that th this is, let's, let's see, that you have a security interest in this vehicle doesn't mean anything. Everybody who drives on the road has a security interest in their vehicle. Most people have leased their vehicles, okay, 
or they bought them on a loan. And, and, and if they own them, they still, in principle, have a security interest in them. The UCC does not create these exceptions to federal the federal corporation law. Uh, it's a whole bunch of nonsense. I'm sorry. American state vessel. I like that. That's kind of funny. And he's got this weird little... I wonder if that American flag has special significance. See how, uh, see how the stripes and the stars are a little bit different, that design? And then he's got this black and white flag here. Um, actually, I'm going to look that flag up. I've never seen that black and, black and white flag before. If anybody knows what that black and white flag is, please leave it in the comments. But I always go to get, get a good kick out of a nice right to travel nonsense license plate. This isn't even a plate. It's just some stickers. Okay, and then we have here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here, everyone, uh, so that we can see. Okay, there we go. Uh, the, the caption was put here by somebody else is COVID-19 is now a corporate jurisdiction. We, the living people who are the original, indigenous, sovereign, ancient, natural, divine, Moorish, national, republic, federal government, are not in the fraudulent corporate jurisdiction of COVID-19. <laughs> Therefore, unlawful occupation on our sovereign, ancient, indigenous lands by those doing business as the city of Des Moines, Washington Corporation is just cause for notifying the American Provost Marshal. We use our land to in plus joy and in plus enhance our solid ancient connections and communications with our ancestors who are returned in us. This is corporate litter that is hereby removed from our beautiful ancient inherited estate boy, did did you tell the virus about this? Or are you just letting the authorities know so that you can go out and be exposed to the virus and be more dangerous to everybody? Please, please, uh, please uh, do some more reading. Do some more reading. I'm going to come out with a book. In the book, it outlines the, some of the roots of the sovereign, the Moorish sovereign citizen movement, they believe that they are the uh, ancestors of an ancient, um, an ancient tribe or kingdom in Israelite, Israel, in actually modern day Jordan, but in the Middle East, that area is called the Levant. Um, there's an ancient, ancient kingdom called the Kingdom of Moab. Okay, that lasted for hundreds and hundreds of years, but it ended, the kingdom ended in like the fourth century BC. That the Moors believe that those Moabites, the people from the kingdom of Moab, then moved to Africa and then moved to the Americas. Okay, therefore, the Americas are their indigenous lands. They're wrong. It's not true. Okay, everything that we know about history, uh, genetics, and um, archaeology, genetic archaeology, everything that we know about science says that they are completely wrong about that. So um, just, just, just please, please be careful. I, I don't want to catch COVID-19 because you believe that it's run by a corporation. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy out. Please get me a subscribe, trying to get to 10,000. Otherwise, enjoy your day, and please stay safe right now in these uncertain times. Thank you.